What if I told you the most advanced emotional AI isn't in Silicon Valley? It's in your grandma's living room. Around the world, elder care robots are doing more than assisting seniors. They're forming real emotional connections. One can sense loneliness through voice. Another can prevent a fall before it happens. Together, they're tackling a $7 trillion healthcare crisis. And it's working. 78% of users now prefer robot check-ins over human ones. Today, we're going hands-on with the groundbreaking tech making this possible, and why it's about to transform how the world cares for its elderly. Good morning. It's a perfect day for your walk. That voice doesn't come from a loved one, but from a robot that knows your rhythm, watches over your mood, and cares in its own quiet way. Today's elder care robots are more than machines. They're becoming emotionally intelligent partners. LEQ from Intuition Robotics uses natural language processing and contextual memory to engage users in meaningful conversation, track medication times, and offer wellness tips tailored to habits. Japan's Lovat was designed for affection, not chores. It follows users, responds to touch, and even simulates eye contact to foster connection. Moxie, originally built for children, is now used with seniors to tell personalized stories, play memory games, and respond to emotional cues using facial recognition. These robots aren't replacing human connection, but they're filling the gaps between visits. For seniors living alone or with cognitive challenges, this kind of consistent, gentle presence is more than helpful. It's essential. It's quietly transformative, offering care that listens, remembers, and responds with empathy. Even the most compassionate caregiver needs rest. But elder care robots? They don't get tired, distracted, or delayed. They're always on, always alert. AREC, tested in South Korea, maps a senior's home and uses predictive algorithms to guide nighttime mobility. If someone often wakes for a bathroom trip at 2 a.m., AREC lights the path before they even rise, preventing falls before they happen. In Japan, Dinso Mini responds instantly to voice commands at any hour, reminding users to hydrate, take medication, or check on their safety. But it doesn't stop at responding. It actively monitors patterns. If a senior hasn't moved for a while, it might suggest a gentle stretch or notify caregivers. This kind of consistent support builds trust. In one study, late-night incidents dropped within weeks of robot use. For families, it's peace of mind. For seniors, it's care that's always there, on time, every time. Emergencies rarely wait for the right moment, and often, no one is there when they happen. That's where elder care robots become more than helpful. They become lifelines. At MIT, the EBAR robot is designed to prevent injuries before they occur. It uses LiDAR sensors, posture analysis, and soft airbags to detect and respond to falls, physically positioning itself to cushion impact and immediately alerting emergency contacts. In Taiwan, the eye care system connects Bluetooth-enabled wearables with robotic companions, monitoring vitals like blood pressure and oxygen levels in real time. Doctors receive alerts the moment something's off. Germany's CareOBot 4 responds to voice prompts, guiding users through medication checks or calming breathing exercises without needing physical contact. For a son living overseas, these updates can mean early intervention instead of crisis. For the elderly individual, it's the quiet reassurance that someone, or something, is always watching out for their well-being. While not a substitute for doctors, these tools bridge the vital space between appointments with unblinking attention and rapid support. For many seniors, real dignity comes from choice, deciding when to ask for help and when to handle things on their own. Today's elder care robots are designed to support that balance, offering assistance that empowers rather than interrupts. Dial Zara, developed for aging in place environments, gives users voice-activated control over calendars, reminders, and family messages. A tap or a word is all it takes. No complex tech, no invasive presence. In Japan, 
lightweight robots from Unitree guide users through their homes or carry small items, providing gentle support without making them feel dependent. Ubtex Walker X, first seen at CES, helps with light household tasks like folding laundry or adjusting room temperature, all while respecting personal space and autonomy. The value lies in subtlety, support without hovering, control without intrusion. For seniors who hesitate to ask for help, this quiet presence empowers independent living with care close by when it matters most. Emotional connection is powerful and essential to healthy aging. It strengthens memory, lifts mood, and supports longevity. For seniors, regular interaction offers more than comfort. It plays a crucial role in mental and emotional health. Robots like those in the EU-funded Enrich Me project have shown measurable benefits. Seniors who use them for six months experienced improved memory recall and greater emotional responsiveness. Moxie, originally designed for children, is now being trialed in elder care. It recognizes facial expressions, detects sadness or confusion, and responds with uplifting prompts, storytelling, or cognitive games to re-engage the user. At Armenia's Wigmore Clinic, another robot, Robin, reduced patient stress in children by 34%. That same approach is now being adapted for older adults. These robots don't pretend to be friends. They offer something quieter, presence, attention, and structure. For someone who may go days without meaningful conversation, even a brief exchange, how are you feeling today, can make a difference. Because sometimes, being seen is the first step toward feeling well. Emotional connection matters, but without physical independence, it can feel incomplete. Mobility challenges are one of the main reasons seniors move into full-time care. But what if staying mobile at home was safer, easier, and less dependent on others? Enter Robear, a 300-pound robotic caregiver developed in Japan. With soft actuators and torque sensors, it gently lifts people from bed to wheelchair, helping both seniors and the caregivers who often strain their own health assisting them. Toyota's human support robot, HSR, already in use in some Japanese homes, helps users reach for objects, open doors, and even navigate tight spaces, all by voice command. Its compact size makes it ideal for everyday environments. In South Korea, robotic exoarm suits are being tested to assist with standing, walking, and other lower body movements, extending mobility without taking away control. These machines don't aim to replace physical therapists or nurses, but they fill the space between visits, offering safe, practical support that keeps people on their feet and in their homes longer. Contrary to stereotypes, many older adults are surprisingly open to assistive technology, especially when it's simple, respectful, and clearly helpful. A 2023 AARP study found that over 70% of seniors were comfortable using voice-activated assistance, and more than half expressed interest in home robots if they improved safety or independence. Acceptance tends to grow with gradual exposure. In Norway and Singapore, pilot programs start small, reminders and check-ins, before expanding to mobility and health tasks. What drives trust isn't fascination with AI, it's familiarity, control, and visible benefits. As one user put it, I didn't think I'd like it, but now I don't forget my pills, and I don't feel as alone. This technology enhances care by delivering reliable, everyday support, one thoughtful prompt at a time. This shift toward robotic care isn't driven by hype. It's answering real, urgent needs, a rapidly aging global population, caregiver shortages, and rising healthcare costs. The elder care robotics market is projected to reach $134 million by 2025, with an annual growth rate exceeding 33%. Countries like Japan, South Korea, and Germany are already investing heavily. In Japan, for example, government-backed subsidies help care facilities adopt robots to offset staff shortages and improve quality of life. However, growth occurs when funding aligns with smart integration, 
The next frontier will connect robots with telehealth platforms, smart home ecosystems, and AI-powered diagnostics. Imagine a robot detecting early signs of a respiratory issue by analyzing a user's speech and sending that data directly to their doctor. Regulators across Europe and Asia are now working to standardize safety and certification processes, laying the groundwork for wider adoption and cross-border trust. The next step isn't smarter machines alone. It's reliable, connected systems made for everyday homes. As the market matures, elder care robotics won't remain a vision of the future. They'll become a foundation for how we care, connect, and age with dignity. Honestly, no robot can replicate a warm hug from a loved one or the joy of spontaneous human connection. But when family is far and care can't wait, quiet support becomes essential. Elder care robots aren't here to take over. They listen, guide without judgment, and bring steady care where it's needed most. From emotional comfort to mobility assistance, they're becoming quietly indispensable, reliable, gentle, and always present. As the technology evolves, it invites us to reconsider what care really means, shifting the focus from who delivers it to how reliably, respectfully, and attentively it's given. This isn't the end of connection. It's the beginning of new forms of companionship, quiet, consistent, and close enough to matter. If you found this thoughtful or useful, consider subscribing. We explore how technology is quietly reshaping everyday life, one human moment at a time.